everyone. This is the IoT Show. I'm Olivier, your host. We are still at IoT Stars in Nuremberg, uh, next to the Embedded World event. That's a mouthful. Lots of things to say each time. Yeah. And Chassé is with me from Rack Marine Vice. Chassé, how are you? Hi. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to meet you. So tell me real quick, who are you? What are you doing? Who are you working for? So I'm working for Rack Riders, a Chinese company. We are pretty much, we are manufacturers, hardware manufacturers, and most of our products are related to LoRaWAN. Okay. So low power, long range uh, radio protocol. Okay. So um, we, our main products are maybe gateways or okay. the devices receiving the data from the nodes, but we also create like modules, modules like this one, for instance. Um, this is okay. a, <laughs> wait a minute, yeah. It's a big one. <laughs> This is real scale, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> the 110 of the new modules we are presenting at the, in the embedding world this year. Okay. So this is based on an STM 3032 okay. for low power, okay. low, low one connectivity. Okay. Plus an ESP32 uh, that you can enable or disable depending okay. on what you want to do. Okay. Um, we realized that, so one of the things that we like to do is to talk to our customers yeah. and we visit them and see what they are doing. You do that? Yeah, we do that. Incredible. I, nobody does it. <laughs> yeah, we do that. And we learn a lot from that. Yeah. So one of the things that we learned is, even though our um, bestseller is the STM32-based module that yeah. we have, we call it RAG uh, 3172, sorry. 60% um, of the people using that module adds an ESP32 to it just for packet sniffing, uh, beacon sniffing, or just MQTT connectivity to configure anything. Yeah, yeah. So, since our motto is IoT made easy, we wanted to make this easy for them, having a module with both solutions okay. already built in and certified, pre-certified. Awesome. So it will be easy to implement that in your own solution. Awesome. So you're answering already half of the question with that to ask you later on. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. That means you're smart. You know where I'm going. But before I go there, and just to confuse you, I'm going to ask you what I ask everyone here. What is the most innovative, interesting, or stupid IoT device or solution uh -huh. you've encountered? Um, uh, so he, and, 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 in general, could be today, but could be in the past. No, nah, I want. There, there are some stupid things, but I, I want to know about. Go there. Nah. Yeah, okay. um, <laughs> but um, maybe I'd like to talk about. So I'm I'm half a hardware software guy. Okay. Not good at any of these, but half the thing. <laughs> but I know. Jack of all trades. <laughs> I know that sometimes tooling makes a difference. Okay. Yeah. And with Laura One, which we are talking about low power. Um, Having the right tools to make sure that your device is really low power is very interesting. It's okay. very important. Yes. Yes. So there are some tools, and you can find them at the at the embedded like um, Nordic's um, uh, low power solution for to check this. Yeah. Yeah. But there is one that actually I didn't see this year, but I think they are here. I attended a demo last year. Yeah. And it's from a company called uh, uh, Koitech, okay. and the product is OT, okay. and it's like you, you connect that to your device. You can actually add code to your device to mark like breakpoints on your code and it will automatically get you a profile of the consumption with all the information labeled or where you are, what the device is doing. And it is amazing when you're trying to do a really low power solution. Okay. So this okay. is a very good tool. Best and another thing that I found right this year, this is very low tech thing, but I loved it, is, you, you know, third hands when you're soldering, this is very complex because you, sometimes you need more hands that you have. Yeah, especially and, us software guys doing hard work. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for me, that I'm processing, <laughs> it's complex too. There's the solution by a company. The solution is, I don't know if the company or the solution is called uh, PC Bytes, PCB Bytes, okay. PC Bytes. And it's actually like very uh, smart thing where you can actually hold the PCB in place and then put your uh, test probes on it and it sticks in place and it's very, it's awesome when you are trying to debug problems on the hardware. Yeah, yeah. And okay. it's very simple, uh, simple solution that really okay. does the job. Simple usually works best. Yeah, that's the best thing. Which leads me to the question you have answered before. How is a hardware company like Brad or less making IoT easy? Considering IoT is Internet of Things, includes cloud, software, hardware. What's your part in making it easier? Yeah, that's, that's actually the reason. So I have the feeling that IoT, if you split it into the different parts that yeah, it's going yeah. on, each one of them is not that hard. Yes. But having the whole picture or uh, getting what you actually need, what components you actually need for your solution, that's really hard. So we are trying to help our customers in, in choosing the right solution. Yeah, yeah. And that's why 
we don't have a single solution, an end-to-end -end solution. We have modular approach to the solution and we can tailor the solution to the customer use case. And we are doing it by talking to them a lot. And we prefer to talk to them Again? up front, <laughs> up front. So when the project starts, instead of having them come to us later, say, hey, this doesn't work. What, 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 I have to, what do I have to do? Yeah, yeah. So we, we like to work with them from the beginning in, in making their use case yeah. work. They should listen to people, like listen to your customers. Yeah. You know, it's like... I know it, it, sounds, it sounds like... Uh, Basic, no, it's, it, you have but it's to really say it. it's really basic. You it's have like to say it. It's a foundation. It's, it's the foundation like that. So last little question for you: You work a lot on lower one or with lower one. It's kind of the core of your offering, right? You you decide yeah. to go that path. Where do you see lower one going? Like, is it in good shape? And how do you see it in the next week? So I think we've seen lower one growing for the last. Well, lower one has ten years now. Yes. So we've been we've seen it growing more or less slowly. But now we, we can see like a ramp up yeah. in the adoption of LoRaWAN. And of course, there are other options as well. But I think the good thing about this is realizing that there is no silver bullet for IoT or pretty much for anything. So LoRaWAN is a very good solution for a lot of use yeah, cases yeah. on IoT. You still need maybe like other options like cellular or other LPN, LP1 solutions. But LoRaWAN is in good shape and the ecosystem is very mature now. So you can you can bet on LoRaWAN and it will provide you solutions, but you have to be aware of this. Okay, maybe it's not 100% solution for all my use cases. Yeah, yeah. But that's with everything. That's, yeah, with everything. Yeah. And once again, when you talk to your customer, they'll tell you what they need, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Just say, thank you very much. Tonight. <laughs> Enjoy your night. See you.